guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Monday, Tuesday for you guys because we upload the day after we shoot. It is super chill day today. It's breezy and cool. Not fit for swimming at all. Good girl. But Gabby woke up this morning and said, let's take the dogs swimming. And who am I to disagree? It is super fun to do this. And we want to teach Molly to be the best swimmer that she can be. Ruby is totally not feeling it, and that's okay. Not everybody likes to swim. Not everybody likes to ride horses. Not everybody likes to do what you like to do. You need to find the thing that you do like to do and then do it, regardless of what anybody else is doing. So today we're supposed to have riding lessons, and tomorrow, because of the nice, amazing weather, uh, but it's spitting a little. So if it rains, we're out of luck for today. But I did wake up this morning and make a decision. A lot of you guys know that it's been like this crazy heat wave, and it's not been fit to go outside, like an oven, like really bad. And the only times you could ride are at like 6 a.m., basically and we don't get up at 6 a.m. so i've made a decision our horse has just been sitting in a field for two weeks Ruby. after our lessons this week we are just going to start getting up at the crack of dawn to ride whenever we can i just feel bad leaving them sit higher and higher i'm gonna raise the flag Molly likes being able to run in, but she doesn't like to go in when it's deep right off the bat. So Gabby's been working with her a little bit with that. Fire, oh fire, send out a flare to find, give me a reason. I'm gonna send a sign. Call Good girl. Molly turned four months old yesterday, you guys. How is it possible that she's only four months old? How is it possible? Only four months. We've only had this girl for two months. It feels like we've had her forever. She's already swimming. She's swimming out to get it. That's crazy. She already went there and that's a drop off there. Ruby's in, Ruby's in. Take off her leash. Calling you over, calling you to my life. and he's going to get himself a coffee and it started raining so yeah I'm underneath this little ledge can you guys see it trying to stay dry oh my gosh she's scared she just needs to get used to it Molly's not scared because we taught her early I always like to buy stuff for our coaches and Brandon loves 7-Up. I also got him some sour candies that are up at the house I have to bring down. Uh, so also, with Sam's new machine, I was able to come down and cut this all up. Such a blessing, like that thing. We've got two little bridges here over the ditch. This is where I ended up last night, so I've been cutting slowly but surely. It just takes time, you guys. By the end of the week, maybe, all this will be gone. So we went shopping to get some groceries, and I found this. It was calling my name. I could tell that this bacon was made for us. All right, take a look at this window and it'll give you a better idea how much I've cleared. Mm -hmm. So remember, there was so much of this area that was all high weeds. And you can see over top, past the marks and over. Why is my I just told you. All right, why are you guys stressing me out? I'm videoing here. I brought down his charger from the bathroom because Kaylee brought it there because my charger didn't work for her phone. And I couldn't find my other one because people literally took it apart, left the box over there where I plugged it in, and brought the cord all the way over there. Who did that? I don't know. Was it you? Probably. Because it didn't have any dogs. 
like two marks on it. So. So you're saying it could have been your dad my or dad's your... dad's freaking out because I brought his charger down from the bathroom. Oh my god. Are you saying it could have been... back to its right spot. Time to yell at me. Are you saying that it could have been your dog or your dad? Well, no. I I'm said there's no bite marks on it. Because I haven't been able to find it. For well, days now. You said... Where, where did you get that? Because your charger's in the bathroom. Alright. I saw it. First parent-child fight on our channel. Not the first. Um, I feel like your puppy's trying to tell us something. Well, water or food? Food or water? Water? Food? She's water. like, just give me something. I got nothing. I do. My bowl will be empty. Look Minute. First of all. Thing. She loves to be picked up. I know. Even she's getting so heavy. She's only four months old. She just turned four she months. So heavy. She now almost be ready to go into the shelter. I also got Brandon some Sour Patch Kids because he likes sour stuff. That's why he likes me. For sour, it is T minus one hour before lessons. And I told the girls to come down, start getting ready. Um, really, I should be cleaning the barn. But I want to go out there and weed eat some more of our weeds. I plan to actually make this area right here A for, stall for, Willow? for our kitten. Stall for Willow? No, Willow can't come out here and be by herself, but this would be such a great spot and then we move for and then the kitten. For Gracie. So I just got to figure out how to do it and get it cleaned out. You in? Have fun moving that unicorn. Oh, goodness <laughs> sake. Sophia thinks that she's going in the blue one. Sophie. I need the one close to the blue one. It doesn't matter. We have to do what's best for the horses. Yeah. All right, so our... Horses. Does he feel? No, like here. Yeah, I can feel Stars it. Are worse though. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Like they're over like less than an eighth of an inch. Storms are more though. Storms are. What does that mean? Way. And like, how do we fix that? Uh, they we need the farrier out before it grows too long. Stay there. Or yeah. So we'll be like putting a small shoe on and it'll hurt them. Yeah, but the problem is we are in like a group. For the farrier, our farrier comes from far away, and he comes like for the group, and he doesn't just make a special trip for us. Storms have never been over. That one's worse than the other ones. Storms yeah. have never ever been over before. Yeah, we'll get Brandon to tell us what to do and see if it's dangerous. Sam stole my machine. I love the sounds of the girls talking and getting ready to go. Yeah, bot flies. No, like the eggs. Also. Yeah. Finn makes his solid now because yeah, and metal. So Finny's got some cuts, and so we're worried. A million. Yeah, and our horses like go lame at the but at the sign of like a change in temperature. Him a little sore. Yeah. Of the spot yeah. So he got cut up here, and I made a point. Yeah, our chiropractor comes on Friday. I don't even know when our. Farrier comes. Chino be looking a little bit chubbier than ever before. I, what we've been doing has been working for him. Bad. Putting him on grass for a long time and then sticking him in the field by himself with all the hay for himself. Like you can still see his ribs even though he's be he be fattening up. Like I wish I was our, a thoroughbred the skinny one. You are a thoroughbred skinny one. Jeepers, what are you talking about? That's exactly well, what you I are. I eat so much, but I never that yeah, that's you. That is you, Gabby. No, it's not. If I ate what you ate, I'd be a yeah, it is totally Kaylee. But you are a thoroughbred too. You're a Chino thoroughbred. Chino Whoa, Chino just whacked. Whoa, stop it. <laughs> He's like, shut up! <laughs> Don't tell her that. <laughs> or he doesn't like what you're doing to his feet. How do his feet feel? He's not minding because he would tell me with his head. Yeah. He would swish his tail and turn his head to me like, ow. Well, he was swishing his tail at me. He's got some bite marks. He'd be looking a lot better, though. Our car, our fair, our vet said that he looks that, great. Just a disclaimer, I'm going very gently because there's like some mud here. So we're going very gently to get it off and it's not hurting him. Coffee, Gabby. Oh, you Guys, your leg. Well, let's little spray little them little before little we little ride. Little let's spray them with bug spray. <laughs> what? Put his mane on the wrong side. Yeah, that's how to annoy his owner, not Finn. No, Finn. All right, so don't forget to bug spray them before yeah. you tack up, before we leave, so that we have a good lesson. Um, oh, Vinny so, boy. And then his mane goes on that side, and this half goes on this side. Yeah, and it looks like and, bad. Yeah. 
All right. So what do you hope to ride today, Gabby? You chose to ride Chino, obviously. What do you hope to ride? I don't know. She's, what did you ask Brandon? What did we ask Brandon if you could ride? Oh, dressage. She wants to do a dressage lesson on Chino. Look at our, look at our gorgeous stud kit. These are really big studs. Yeah, and they then are. And there's even more Eventer studs. Yeah, Brandon will probably get a laugh at that. Um, I want to dressage, but I, I can't frame him. He'll frame by himself. Yeah. I'll just tell him. And he'll frame by himself and it'll be all good. So one of the reasons that we ride on a loose rein often in our videos is Yeah, is is because teaching your horse to uh, frame and framing your horse has to be in certain conditions. Like a lot of people I think out there frame their horses, just jump on and start framing away. Horses need like a horses big long warm up. Like you try plus, walking bent over, just walk bent over for 10 minutes and see how you feel. To um, let them stretch and then train them to no. stretch when you ride them. Because in flat classes, the judge wants Mom. to see that, then you win instantly. Yeah, and it's good for their back. Walk bent over for half an hour, then see how you feel. Mm -hmm. That's how long. Bet you couldn't do it, because I had to do it up in the ass. Hey, Locked. Oh man, it hurts my butt. We need to give. Brandon, his Shiny. stuff back. Gabby's like, yes, I got brand new stuff. Is this the only thing he gave us? Yeah, the studs, yeah. Should we give him back his studs? Uh, sure. I don't care. Into the bra it goes. This I big, huge. Like All right, we'll keep the studs. <laughs> oh, we have huge problems here. Huge problems. This one matches my shirt and it's pretty. This one's ugly and doesn't match my shirt. All right, so Sophie wants to wear this hunter green Lemieux saddle pad to match So why don't you green? just get me a hunter green saddle pad? All right, put it on your list. Um, but Gabby's going to ride it because Gabby's wearing the same exact shirt. So then she said, wear the olive green. And she said, olive green is ugly. It doesn't match her shirt. So then I said, wear gray because gray matches the hunter. It would be such a cute match. And what did you say? The gray is bad luck. The gray is bad luck. So we're in a dilemma. Last time I wore the gray, because I always use my uh, my lavender style pad, um, I used the gray, and he turned into a bucking bronco. So then she said she'd wear her nice yellow, which would go great with green, except... Finn's a palomino. It looks ugly on him. And it's Gabby's yellow. And it's Gabby's yellow. So let's go over here and see what we can do. And then this is not supposed to be on my saddle. And then hot pink is also very bad luck. Light pink and green would look cute. But pink is bad. What about that green? Because it doesn't match. It doesn't match, but I think it would be okay. It doesn't match. I love Finn in that green. It doesn't match. Actually, I like Chino in that green. It doesn't match. All right, so this third world problem. So if you pick a freaking saddle pad and go with it. But they don't match. All right, we need to put all these away. They don't match. It doesn't matter. Pick one. I'll buy you a hunter one next time. Okay, we'll take that one, and then we'll... Mm. Look, there's a yellow one. Oh. Tie there. There's a cute green one down there. There's a dark... Look at this one! What about this one? No, that one's bad luck. Because Gabby said that... Whatever this color is, attack people. The pets, so we don't want this. Because we don't want him attacking Brandon. Somehow I feel like this is just craziness. He's going to choose. I want to keep all of our saddle pads. Okay, that just looks silly. Mauve and... I feel like this has all been about you just want the mauve one. Huh? I think you're strong enough to withstand the bad luck. No, I want the hunter green one! Alright, Finn's choosing. Yay. Gracie's like, where's my luck? Um, what's owl pad? He's like, excuse me, I'm busy with my Finn, salt lick. What's owl pad? Oh, good Green choice. Good job, buddy. He loves to do that. Still have 20 minutes. I have a clock in the bar now. It's been awesome. I just was weed whacking. Mom. And it yeah, is glorious. Our family needs to be a farrier so that we can get free. Yes. Or just study it and not actually become a farrier. Yeah. You know what to do, but it's not. All right, job. let's all vote who in our family should become a farrier. Gabby, you should Gabby. just take the course. 
Other than so we know what we're doing, except for it's not our actual job. But then you have to like buddy with somebody. Okay, you guys should get out there. It's 20 minutes to one, and you guys should be out there exercising, warming up. Martin's Summer. Already up. Okay, good. So get your I helmet. I need a martingale and a bridle and a helmet and boots. Actually, okay, we'll get going. The dark hunter green one. I want to use a baby pad. I already have a saddle pad on. Now she tells you. I'm gonna use a baby pad it's later and better for I am so hot. Chino, she what are tells you feeling? She that now. And yeah. then I already chose the style pad. Yeah. What are you feeling about the, today's lesson, dude? Are you feeling ready for it? Four studs in. Four studs in? Gabby did it all by herself. I think Gabby could be a farrier. School is so easy. But except for the farrier, didn't put like two of them on straight, like the holes. The holes straight. don't kind of line up, so it's hard for her. No, kind of not straight. Really I'm really excited. For a lesson, and I hope our, our our trainer is not like, oh, all your horses are lame. It could be because she knows we're working on some bruises healing. I don't know if putting on the shoes was such a good idea. We maybe should have left him to heal without the shoes and then put the shoes on. Is my guess. I don't know, but yeah, all of our horses' feet are growing so fast. And Finny has some kicks and some hurts and some cuts. Hurts. We had literally have three horses and we may not get to ride any of them because they might all be lame. Oh, look! It's on hold two though, on the other side. So that's it, a big achievement. Before we used to get it on hold six and six. Six and six and now we're on two and three? Nope. We're on um, like Chino's girth. Four and four. You grew two holes, Chino Bambino. So uh, Gabby wants to try dressage because dressage lessons make your hunter horse look even better in the show ring. And I swear we are going to get a couple of shows this season. Brandon's planning a show and then there's another one that's already set for the end of July. And if we can actually get our horse moving, we could do it. For flat class, it's good. Dressage. Yeah. Sam finally cut a hole in the weeds there now so I can walk through. I got to go down there. Can walk through there? No, there's rocks. Ponies are down there looking for food. They're like, give it to me. I'm going to go feed them right now. Every time this gorgeous girl walks up to me, I feel it in my heart. Like, I feel it in my heart. I'm so glad we bought her. Hey, I got hay. Yes, come on. Follow me. Follow me, but don't fight. Don't fight, okay? Follow me. Don't fight. Every time I look at her, like, Gracie was the first horse that I bought. She was the very first horse that I chose on my own without any help. And I chose her from my heart i chose her because this horse literally is one of the only horses that we have that is so like she uh oh i'm dropping hay she is the uh, one of her and chino are the only horses of ours that really love people like above all else i'm gonna throw their hay out here today so they can watch us ride give you guys some excitement and it's overcast and lots of poop out here I'm gonna have to come clean this that'll be my tomorrow job everybody wants a bucket to eat out of nobody likes to eat off the floor so when Gabby said go watch my horse she meant he's not even tied up and he's just standing here <laughs> such a good horse such a good boy oh, I like it that matches uh, are those the ones that L.E.T. sent us? I love them. I, I got it all. I got Brandon's 7-Up, some water, some candy. And I'm headed out to watch my beautiful girls ride. What a rush it is to like be able to sit down in the middle of the afternoon and watch your kids ride. Door! I'm coming, Chino. Look at those butt muscles be growing up before my very eyes. You were such a superstar. Oh, look at the cool things the stud kit has. What? Brandon says those big, huge studs. These things. This yeah. One, the hole is not drilled straight, so yeah. it doesn't go oh, down. Okay. That went in so easily. Oh. And then it comes with a thing that you screw it in. Nice. And then it, like, blocks the dirt from getting in there. So nice. it's better than, like, a cotton pal. So nice. This hoof looks so bad. Yeah. Brandon said we should try cold shoeing instead of hot shoeing. It explained a whole no. bunch about things. Here. And I'm thinking maybe we should. Huh. I think Look we should at that sweaty boy! So Chino did so we good. We have to ride him every day, so we have to wake up early. Yeah, early. I'm with you. I agree. What is that? This is for you. 
So what are you saying about Denny? Fat? Sweaty. Sweaty because you worked so hard. How do you feel about your lesson? I loved it too. And it's just jumping uphill on the... Yeah, that was a bit scary. But you have to have those jumps to get really good. And oh, I've had jumps worse. And Gabby, you looked like a real... like. There were moments there where I thought your position and stuff was like the best I've ever seen. It was there really was good. literally... One time when I was riding Finn, it's fun jumping Finn with Fiona okay. in group lessons. You want to read night. it? Or no. nights. And then there was one time when we cantered into the... Two, three jump, it was brown, and we went cantering nicely out into the corner. I don't know, stride before the jump, he went, yes! I literally flew, didn't even go up and down, he just went, That's here, Finn, you landed. Have. So, what did you get? What did you get from Brandon? A card. And he says, oh. I'm so super sorry to hear about the loss of your loved one. She will forever be in your heart, always watching you. Succeed and grow. Always watching you succeed and grow. Love from Brandon with sympathy. Finn loves it. Yeah, Finn loves it too. Did you give him treats? Did you get treats because you were a good boy? All right. Such a good. Gabby's like, my horse is getting so many treats. And that horse can have so oh, many treats. The uh, least amount of treats that he gets. Us in the nick of time, you guys. The storm be brewing. I love the feeling before a storm comes in. It is so glorious when the wind is blowing and the, and the temperature drops and the sky is getting dark. I love it. It's so cozy and so much fun. Don't you know that you're beautiful?